Good morning. As you can see, I'm home again for a little bit. I'll be gone again next week, uh, but definitely not gone from the video. But as promised, I wanted to share with you the fact that I tried to write on the plane. I mean, I tried to make my video on the plane and it failed. It was a bust, but it was only a bust in the sense that you couldn't have heard it. It wasn't a bust for me. I was trying to talk to you about something that I read in this book, the book you're born to write by Kelly Notaris in chapter five and I should have looked for the page and I didn't here we go here we go here we go bear with me you see you should have your things ready right Rathbone never mind here we are so what uh Wayne Dyer says when he talks about writing he says write from your soul otherwise you're just typing I think that's really valuable but the notes that I made up here in the top left-hand corner, which I was reading from Dublin, didn't, didn't work out, but never mind. It allows me to say it again. And it allows that to sink in a little bit more. So. Life takes time. Time takes time. We take time, take it, you're worth it. That just resonated so loudly for me while, while I was up there at 37,000 feet flying in the chaos of the noise, but actually, thank goodness for noise blanking earbuds, right? So if you're thinking of a book that you might like to get on writing, there's this one, which is really good if you're thinking about writing nonfiction, which is what I'm in the middle of. So even though something's a bust, there's always something positive that comes out of it. So never worry if you're writing and it's like, oh, this is so bad, oh, this sounds so terrible. You may prompt an idea that was just waiting to come out. You may prompt a sentence from your mind that you can extrapolate and say, wow, that was fantastic. So I'm giving you a tiny clip so you can see the plane, but the volume didn't work. Never mind. next time. Talking about next time, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.